floating is key for these power baits. I find if I if you, they don't float, they won't take them. They have to be off the bottom. Yeah. All right, maximizing your chances today. I got two baits out. All right, looks like we got the first fish on, guys. On my uh, friend's pole. Gonna be winning the competition if he gets this in. All right. Oh, that's a that's a decent sized one. Nice rainbow. Yeah, definitely a keeper. Yeah. Really get it in though. That's the question. All right. All right, it's now 1-0. Shane's <laughs> winning here with his first rainbow. That's a nice fish. You got that on the power bait? Yeah, pink. Okay, pink power bait. All right, guys, we're out here in Liberty, Missouri. This is my friend Shane. And uh, right now we're fishing for trout. They just stocked it earlier this week. This is Fountain Bluff Sports Complex. Quite a few people out here. But uh, as you can see, I'm loaded up on trout baits. Right now I have three poles out, which is the max per person. They each have two hooks on them with two different power baits at different depths. My friend right now is winning the competition, unfortunately, but uh, we're trying to get our daily limit of four trout each. And here, actually you can't really see them, but uh, we've got one nice rainbow trout already. But uh, hopefully we get something set up real nicely. The other thing is, is the car's right here, so have to walk about two steps to the fishing spot. And uh, already... Uh, got one nice meal and hopefully we'll get some more here but good setup and we'll see who wins looks like we got a fish on guys saw the pole tip moving oh yeah we got one all right it feels like a ooh taking some drag taking drag this is a Daiwa samurai i just bought a dix for it was two for 30 bucks, so hard to pass up. But this is a nice rainbow right here. It's one of my bigger ones, actually, from this area. My competition looks like he's going to be helping me out here today. Jeez, that thing is a Thank you. All right, guys. Thanks, Shane. That's a that's a lunker right there. Yeah, that might be one of the five I that think, they put in here. Yeah, I think that's the biggest uh, trout I've caught out of these stock ponds. All right, it's one to one now. Swallowed it. You can see I'm just using a Berkley floating power bait. It's a really good bait for these guys. You want to make sure they're floating because if those things are sitting on the bottom, they won't take them. They only like it when they see that thing floating. Fatty rainbow stock trout. Can't beat it. Going to be a great dinner later. All right, here's uh, one of the power baits I'm using. It's a uh, floating natural scent corn power bait. But uh, that guy actually caught on a Berkeley floating power ball. Instead of the dough baits, I like these pre-made balls a little more because they stay on the hook a lot better. And the fish can't take them off. Yeah. It was a trout. Nice. All right. Looks like Shane's going to be have two trout after this one if he gets it in. It's a fighter. My one trout. Jeez. Yeah, this pole's not exactly the greatest one for Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, did it break? I should have grabbed the net. Yeah. All right, guys, we got a fish on. I'm going to get out of the car real quick. All right, where's it at? This one right? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, guys, I'm getting worried now because did you just switch this bait out? Uh, no. Dang. This could be it for me. The sun's about to set, guys, and this... Uh-oh, did he come off? I think he... Oh, my He God. came off and had your bait. He was definitely on there. Oh. I saw him pulling. This just saved me. So this is the second, second fish time. that's got away. The sun's setting. is tied 1-1. One, one. Um, luckily, we're staying warm with the car right there, but uh, kind of cheating. Yeah, well, we're going to stay another hour now. Yeah, I got one. I got one. All right, guys. This is going to be game right here. If I get this fish in, and we do have a trout on right at sunset, he's trying to shake the hook. Don't come off, buddy. He's not a monster, but if I get this guy in, 
It's on the land. That's game. All right. Sun setting. That'll put me at two to year one. Then I had two bites, so you know. All right. I mean, we can play it out a little bit longer if you want. We can wait till it, it's completely dark. So he's still got a little bit of a chance, but uh, this is a uh, this could seal it off for me. We'll see. He's a ton of different trout baits, but this is the one that both of them ended up biting on. It's Berkeley Power Rigs. Want to make sure you get the floating type. I'll show you what they look like real quick. They're about five, six bucks. You can get them off Amazon, eBay, Bass Pro Shop. But I really like the Berkeley Power Bait Power Rigs, and they're floating. And just got a fish, guys. We we're just about to head up. We we're finishing cleaning the fish. I told him I'd help him net it because the last one got off. Uh oh, this is gonna tie it up guys. Right when we're about to leave. Alright, thank you. Alright, this guy is not if he gets this in. Oh no, no, it's, no, no. It's not dark yet. Yeah. And he got it in. It's now tied two to two guys. It's another nice rainbow. Oh maybe one of mine will go in the last like few minutes. <laughs> oh I just won it. I just reeled in two of my poles. I had the third one out there and then something just moved. Oh, that's yours. Oh, this might be it, guys. This might be number three for me. Oh, yeah, there's a fish on here. This could be it. It looks like I might have just gone ahead and won the competition, guys. As long as I land this fish, I've won the competition. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Trout number three. I just checked the other two poles. I reeled them in. We were heading out. All the gear was getting in the car. And bam, got one last trout. Fortunately, now I have to clean him. And I just put up all the cleaning stuff. But uh, hey, it's worth the W. Game winner right here. All right, guys. So this is the actual ending to the thing. I've tried to end it three times. And every time I try to end the video, one of us gets a fish. So it ended, I had two fish, Shane here had one, and then last second he got a second fish tying it up. Then we filleted all the fish, got them in the bags, we're putting up all the stuff. I reeled in two of my three poles and went to check the third one, and I had that third fish, and that won it for me tonight, unfortunately. But it was a really close competition, a great competition, and now it's dark, so we're going to head out. But I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. So the best part about trout fishing guys in the tournament today with my friend was actually being able to eat the trout later in the night. I just baked it at 450 for about 12 minutes, I flipped it over and now I've just pulled back the skin and I'll show you really quick how you know when it's done. And when it flakes real easy, as you can see with this fork it just flakes right off. All the bones, those little bones are staying in there. I can scrape these off and see those bones, they stay right there. This is a great piece of meat and that is so good. You cannot beat fresh trout. This was caught about an hour ago. Flakes right off the bones. Amazing. Thanks for watching.